If I had waited to see what happens in the United States with regard to stem cells, I don't think I would be here today. Dr. David Alaniz is a medical doctor near San Antonio specializing in pain management. A few years ago, it was he who began suffering from the pain associated with heart disease. The result? Shortness of breath and extreme fatigue. The same disease that took the lives of his sister at age 44 and his mother at the age of only 23. Dr. Alaniz is 50. Well, I had just run a, a marathon and um, came back. I was living at that time in Hawaii and I came back from Honolulu. And uh, there's a mountain there on the big island called Mauna Kea. And they, it had snowed, so I had gone up to the mountain and I just felt really short of breath. And they couldn't figure it out whether it was altitude sickness or. And as it turns out, I just uh, I went in with acute heart failure. I just, my, my lungs were full of fluid. You're always tired and depressed. You just don't feel like doing anything. You also have a certain degree of anxiety. My options were A, to wait and see what happens with time, B, wait until I need a heart transplant, or C, wait till I die. So I started looking around and I found out why I see them through the internet, basically. Cell Medicine is on the internet at cellmedicine.com. Cell medicine only uses adult stem cells from umbilical cords, placentas, fat, and bone marrow. These types of cells have no ethical issues compared with fetal or embryonic stem cells. Cell medicine has stem cell treatment facilities in Mexico and in Costa Rica, where Dr. Alaniz was treated for his battle with heart failure. Unfortunately for Dr. Alaniz and millions of patients with heart failure, stem cells are not commercially available in the U.S. While the FDA accepts the science behind adult stem cell therapy and has allowed numerous clinical trials for patients with heart failure, it is still years away from getting through all the regulatory hurdles for clinical usage. Fortunately for Dr. Alaniz, doctors at Cell Medicine in Costa Rica gave him an alternative and in the process he gained a new lease on life. Uh, after the fourth treatment, I felt my whole body had changed. I no longer felt fatigued. The shortness of breath had gone away, uh, the orthopnea had gone away, and my energy level just went to the roof. As for the need for Dr. Alaniz to have additional stem cell therapy? Uh, at this time, no, but if, if my symptoms should reoccur, I would definitely do it again. Medicine is changing so fast. I think stem cells is the medicine of the future, which is here now. And I think that um, I see him giving me the opportunity to get my life back.